Well, welcome to Tuesday Update. Hey, we're going to do Walsh in three minutes. Uh, tomorrow, Feast of the Immaculate Conception, one of our holy days. We'll have two Masses tomorrow, 6.30 a.m., 6 p.m., as we honor our Blessed Mother, so we invite you to join us. Hey, if you didn't receive the diocesan appeal letter in the mail, and I know many of you mentioned to me you haven't, we'll have this weekend some envelopes for you after after Mass to take. I'm really grateful for your help on this diocesan appeal. It, it, what, what the, the services they offer really, really help us here at St. Pius. Uh, next Tuesday, December 14th, 7 o'clock, we'll have our Advent penance service here uh, at St. Pius. Now, when you go by, when you leave Mass this coming weekend, I'm going to have a little examination of conscience. Uh, sometimes people like to know what to be thinking. And, and, and don't worry about memorizing any sort of prayers. You know, we'll help you with that. I have a bunch of priests here. So, uh, reconciliation, don't worry about the prayers. Just take a look at this examination of conscience and uh, see if you might want to come to reconciliation. Hey, this weekend, Bam Benelli Sunday, we're going to take our baby Jesus from our crash, bring them here, as well as if you had your the little crib craft, uh, you can bring those here. We're going to have a blessing on all of our baby Jesus this weekend and after all the masses. Hey, behind me is the giving tree. And thank you for taking those tags off. If you can bring them back by this weekend so we can distribute them, that would be wonderful. So just bring them in here to mass and just drop them off right behind me. Sacred Heart Food Collection, that's going to be this weekend as well. You're always good about uh, supporting those here in North Albany who need our help. You know, quick building update. You know, uh, we're hoping we we're hoping to be able to finish the building by the end of the year. That's not going to happen. Of course, the shortage of materials has caught up with us as well as everybody else. I'll be checking with the, with the contractors to find out a new date for you. I'll have that information for you next week. Christmas Mass schedule, 2 o'clock on Christmas Eve, 2 o'clock, 4.30, 7, 10 p.m. And then one Mass, of course, on Easter, I'm sorry, on, on Christmas Day, 10 o'clock on Christmas Day. Hey, uh, uh, invite a friend, somebody who uh, maybe hasn't been to Mass in a while, invite them to come at Christmas. And uh, more information, of course, is on the website in terms of our Christmas Masses. Middle school and high school confirmation students, we're looking for some people that can help us with our, remember that 2 p.m. Mass on Christmas Eve is a children's Mass in which we act out the Gospel. And so, if any of our middle school or high school students would like to help us, just go to the website. You can sign up there. We had a great weekend this past weekend. Uh, it was a lot of fun. We, 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 com we combined fun and faith. You know, Friday night we had the Stations of the Crib here, and it was really, really well done. Matt Flanagan and some of our students kind of acted out uh, the Stations, and they really did a nice, nice job with kind of helping us with some of the Scripture verses before, during, and after Jesus' birth. And then on Saturday, our speakers, did a fantastic job at our men's and women's breakfast. Uh, I really want to thank the leadership and the volunteers who made that happen. Uh, we really had a, a nice crowd of men and women attend that breakfast. And then Sunday we had a cookie mix up. We were able to get 145 um, little um, boxes of cookies that we're going to bring to homeless shelters. So that was really outstanding. Santa was there. Santa was busy all the time when he was there. And then we had uh, hot chocolate, popcorn, and again, I'm grateful for the leadership who put that together and the volunteers. Nice service opportunity. Uh, if you enjoy wrapping Christmas presents, nice opportunity. December 22nd, we're going to try and help out St. Catherine's Home for Children and uh, in, in wrapping some presents. So uh, email Liz Gelstrom. She's in our service um, area here. She'll help you get connected on that. And lastly, you know, this weekend we're going to conclude the four-part series on better understanding the Mass. Huh? And so that'll be this weekend. We'll wrap it all up and uh, um, bring somebody again that might be interested in something like that. If you didn't get a chance to see any of the first three parts of that, you can go to the website and choose any of the Masses of the last three weekends. Just click on that and you'll, you'll be able to kind of get caught up a little bit. I'm, I'm hopeful it's, it's useful to people. Here, our thought for the week was this. It's easier to preach 10 sermons than to live one. It's easier to preach 10 sermons than to live one. So look forward to seeing you this weekend.